Gee whiz. Gee whiz. That's right. Welcome to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot 1, to be precise. The first game in the series, but I think they can figure that out to themselves. Yep. It's quite a, quite a bit of a shock, me transitioning from playing violent games to uh, kids' games. Anyway, this is one of my favourite games of all time. So we're going to go for 100% completion in this, if possible. Shut up! Time for that later, Crash. So, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, we're going for 100% completion if I can. And also, if possible, I'm going to try to avoid raging. Which may not be so easy when I'm trying to get 100% completion. The annoying thing about this game is there's no analogue movement. So I'm limited to the D-pad. Yep. I'm playing on a PS2, not a PC. Or should I say, a PS2 emulator on a PC. Nope. We're playing it the old-fashioned way, the way it's meant to be played. That's right. The very first Crash Bandicoot game I ever played was Crash Team Racing, or CTR for short. It's just an amazing game. Probably my favourite racing game of all time. And one of my favourite games on the PS1 as well. I think after Crash Team Racing I played Crash Bash, which is also a very fun game. And then I played Crash Bandicoot 1, which you are looking at right now. Oh! Spun him because I didn't want to risk getting hit. I'm taking my very first hit of the game. And we're going for 100% completion this, and it's been a long time since I've played this game. And I mean a long time. So... Then after Crash Bandicoot 1, I played Crash Bandicoot 3. Ah, here we go. One. Whoa! Oh no, that's not good. Ah! <laughs> well, guess what we're gonna have to do later on? Come back later. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played this game. I had a horrible feeling I was gonna do that. Oh well, no worries. That really is annoying. So I think my favourite platforming Crash Bandicoot game is Crash 2. There's just something about it that makes it just so good. I do remember a while ago I saw a video, I think it was a Crash Bandicoot 2 uh, music video or something. Or a video that contains a music track from Crash Bandicoot 2. And uh, someone in the comments said Crash 2 has the best music and Crash 3 has the best gameplay. To be honest with you, I agree. But I still think Crash Bandicoot 2 is my favourite. And uh, we can't get the all boxes gem on this one because we need the green gem. Which can be acquired from the Lost City. They changed a few things for the <coughs> permit for the European version of the game, as opposed to the American version. I mean, as far as I know, I think TNT crates count down a little faster in this game. So that means when you set off a TNT crate in this game, make sure you get your ass out of there quickly, unless you want it blown off. I also played, uh, well, I think before I even got this game, I played uh, Wrath of Cortex very briefly on the PS2. I was pretty shit at it back then. <laughs> I'm good at it right now. And yes, oh, hello. Did you see that? Well, technically you didn't because it was off screen, but I'm sure you can figure out exactly what happened. If you don't know what happened, basically I spun that skunk and it unexpectedly burst that one-up crate, which was nicely snuggled in between those 
two TNT crates. I don't really care too much about the uh, Wampa Fruit crates. Yay! Now we can finally save it. For a minute I thought it was going to let me go without saving it. Ah, look at all that. Oh, nostalgia. Yep. Let's make a new one. A new slot. So yeah. I also... Oh, a couple of years ago I got Crash Wrath of Cortex from uh, Xbox Classics. No. In other words, I downloaded it for my Xbox 360 from the marketplace. And a lot of people don't like it, but I personally think it's good. And of course, it's not as good as the original games, like this one. But it's still enjoyable. It's still enjoyable, in my opinion. I'm sorry, it is. I think the only Crash games I haven't played are... I'm ashamed to admit I've never played Twin Sanity before. <laughs> I'd like to, though. I'd like to give it a shot one day. I also haven't played Crash the Huge Adventure, or Crash XS, as it's called over here in the UK. Uh, I haven't played Crash Entranced for the Game Boy. What else haven't I played? I haven't played Crash Fusion, or Crash Bandicoot Purple. I think that's what it's called in other regions. Uh, huh. Thank God for invulnerability. Yeah. I also haven't played Crash Boom Bang, and I don't think I want to. And I haven't played Whoa, almost Whoa. Turtles, really got to watch out for them. It's a shame I died in Ensanity Beach. Had I not died on Insanity Beach, I would call this a fantastic run so far. But I'm only calling it a, a good run. At the moment. No you don't. Get that shield out of my face. I've got a better shield than you. His name's Aku Aku, bitch. Ooh, language. Of course, we all know that they changed the bonus rounds drastically in the uh, later Crash games. And of course, boxes in those bonus stages count towards the all boxes gem in those games too. And of course, you can only get the all boxes gem in this game if you manage to get through the level without losing a life and breaking all the boxes. Well, technically, you can lose a life, but as long as it's before you hit the first checkpoint. Because after you hit the first checkpoint, if you die after that point, all the boxes come back. Wonderful. No, not really. Don't you dare! I don't really want an enema with a spiked totem pole, thank you very much. That's the last thing I want in my life. And we need to complete the lab without dying in order to get all the boxes in this stage. And the lab is a particularly nasty stage. Ah, no. This is the second level where we can get the all boxes gem without having to worry about any of the colored gems. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna get the all boxes gem in this one? Yeah, just say yes. Just say yes. <coughs> I don't particularly, particularly, I can't say that word properly, it's because you speak too fast, slow down. Anyway, I don't particularly like the, well I wouldn't say I dislike it, but the music in this game isn't the best, let's just say it. I agree with uh, Piece of Pie Software, or Paul Smart, the music in the, the chase levels in Crash Bandicoot 2 are much more enjoyable and they FUCK! Do not take your hand off the controller to scratch your nose at that moment. Unless you really want to get squashed by a boulder. Cause I'd... Or unless you want to fall off the edge and die. Cause that mask will not save you. 
even at level 3. And if I don't get the old box of gem for that, then well, there's something far wrong, isn't there? Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm a mother father gentleman. Du, 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 du. Don't get me started. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to rage. As much as I did in my I wanna be the guy playthrough. Oh god, don't don't get me started with that fucking game. Seriously. Ah oh, no. It's either this level or up the creek, which requires the orange gem, which you get from the level called Generator Room. Ah, oh, you know you've got bad leaves when they don't sink. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I believe there is, uh, well, not yet. I think it's at the next, uh, log slope. Where this gem's nearby. Nah, I'm afraid you're not getting any breakfast this morning, plant. I have to find something else. I don't know why they put bandicoots in the menu, because you're not getting one. Sorry. Mm -mm. This bandicoot's gone bad. It's way out of date. Whoa! Ah, oh, no. Hurry up and put on the invincibility before that plant norms you up. Because I believe that mask won't save you. Don't rush now. Whoa! Just as well I got a tauna. On a token right there. Just as well, it was the third one as well, at least. Nah. Whoa, I almost fell right off there. Oh, these don't matter too much. It's the question mark ones I like, they give you lots of wampa fruit. As well as lives like that. Nah, these don't really matter too much. But these do. Moi, moi. Of course, uh, true Crash fans will know that Tauna got uh, scrapped from the rest of the Crash series due to uh, controversy over her appearance. So I believe somebody at Universal Interactive said her appearance was a bit inappropriate, so she was replaced with Coco, Crash Bandicoot's younger sister, who is a computer whiz, a bit like me. Not bad, Crashy, not bad. And going back to the Wrath of Cortex. If you, uh. If you're blessed, or should I say, not blessed, with the original PS2 version of that game, then you'll. You probably fell victim to those ridiculously long loading times. That's only because, in that game, the levels are loaded in one go. Whereas in the older games, like this one, the levels are loaded as you go through them. Which is. Much better, in my opinion. Now then. Almost spin it around then, for God's sake. I think you can only jump on his head from the back without taking damage. I think you can jump on his throne as well, but... I just want to do it the old-fashioned way. And you know, Papu, if your career to become a tribesman doesn't fit, you can always become a plumber. That's just gross. Oh, the animators like to animate jiggling fat, as you can no doubt tell. Did you know there was going to be um, a new Crash game, which was going to be developed by former members of Naughty Dog and Insomniac, who made the Spyro series, but it was uh, dropped. I believe it was um, it was like a, a remake of Crash Team Racing. I think it was going to be called Crash Team Racing 2010, or something like that, anyway. Where'd my Aku Aku masks go? They were with me in Papu Papu. Where's he buggered off to? Well, where's his uh, second form disappeared to? I believe that's the only uh, Wampa Fruit crate that contains uh, a mask, or not a mask, uh, a character token, a bonus round token, that's the word. Thank you, plant, for breaking that open, you so kind. Ah, not very much point in doing 
have this. Whoa, oh. You might want to get your butt out of there. I just want it blown off. No thanks. I need the blue gem from Toxic Waste if you want to get the all boxes gem for this one. Oh, I'm not looking forward to getting the all boxes gem in Cortex Power. Huh, <laughs> Cortex Power. <laughs> what about Slippery Clay? God. Whose idea was it to put uh, a coloured gem in uh, the hardest level in the game, eh? Hmm. Who was it? Speak up. Yeah, I think it's best if you uh, don't speak up. You don't know what I can do to you. I'll just get on with it. No. I want to break them all whether you like it. Oh, no. What, what have I done? What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Ah, fuck it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. At least they don't count. At least you don't lose lives, but you do- Oh. Okay, I take that back. I was about to say, you do lose your uh, mask power. But I would be wrong. Wouldn't I? Yes. Don't you dare fall down that pit. Well, you can say that with uh, more ferocity when you're going for the all boxes gem later on. <coughs> Also, some of you may know that I uh, I did do a best bits for uh, Piece of Pie Software's Crash Bandicoot playthrough. Yeah, this this right here is a completely different playthrough made by somebody completely different. Completely different playthrough made by somebody completely different. I first uh, found Piece of Pie Software or Paul Smart when one day I decided to uh, search for. Crash Bandicoot 3, All Deaths, and uh, I found Paul's one, and it was just hilarious. So I visited his channel, well, visited his channel, and discovered he'd done a few funny playthroughs, including one for the game that you're watching right now. And I just thought it was absolutely hilarious, so I just had to make a best bits for it. It's one of the best playthroughs I've ever seen on YouTube. Oh my god! Now the end is extremely... Oh, that's not... Oh, I did break it. Good. The end is extremely confusing. Dun, 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 dun. Please don't miss any of these crates. And the end is confusing. Because that tribesman runs at a funny angle. Alright, okay, okay. Stay, 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 stay. That's it. Please tell me I didn't miss that box, which I think I missed. Yes! It's that box I think I missed. I believe it smashed just as I left the screen. Yeah, almost had a heart attack there. I thought I didn't get it. But you'd be wrong, that's a load off my chest. A load off Crash's chest as well. Let's go. Ah, native fortress. What a level. What a level. Oh no, the first level that requires the red gem from you know what level. Yeah. And also, if you, uh. If you're a fan of the uh, Crash Bandicoot fan site known as, uh. Crashmania.net, which is hosted by, or sorry, should I say, managed by HP Zoner and Smaz. Then you'll probably heard about the removed level from this game, which actually still exists in the game's files. And it's got the exact same uh, level design as Slippity Climb. And that level in question is called Stormy Ascent. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, that's what happens when you look at your computer. Ignore the computer, there is nothing wrong with it. I'm just checking to make sure it's capturing the game and my voice okay. Okay. Oh, for goodness... Don't you... Oh. Why did you turn around as soon as I jumped at you? Stupid piece of wood. I'm gonna call my favourite lumberjack and cut you down to size. You just wait, just wait. Yeah. Well, 
we'll get back to Stormy Ascent when we get to Slippery Climb, which I am not looking forward to in the slightest, and don't rush. Rushing gets you nowhere. Rushing gets you killed. Don't! You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Don't you... Right, wait. When in doubt, just wait. Okay. Oh, no. Wait to adjust my mic in a minute. Hold on. I'll deal with this guy first. Oh, let's adjust the mic. Okay, I think that'll do. Oh! oh ho, ho. You don't have a mask. Remember... Oh no. You better be quick about that. Oh! And last one, yep. It's all coming back to me now. But I'm still not looking forward to getting the uh, All Boxes gem in some of the levels, namely Sunset Vista. And, uh, Cortex Power and the Lab. Oh, and Slippity Climb. <laughs> we all know that. Oh, those Cortex bonus rounds in which you acquire the keys are also going to be a right pain in the ass. Just wait, and you'll see what I mean.